Welcome back to BBN tonight. Mags, of course, we know busy time of the year for us mm -hmm. now that we got football, men's and women's basketball, and of course, that includes Kyra Elsie's Cats. That's right, and they had their media day today. This is Kyra Elsie's first full season mm -hmm. as the head coach, and a lot of the talk today was focused on culture, setting the tone early. Elsie said, you know, last season she was in survival mode. That's right. This year everything can be much more intentional. That's important, and that includes how she's having this team play. Well, I want to play faster than we played last year, so uh, up-tempo. I think what makes this team very unique and special is our versatility. Uh, we play positionless basketball. Um, we play fast. Um, and then we talked about all summer that our defensive intensity uh, must be there. Um, it travels, so no matter where we go, our heart and intensity on defense and rebounding should travel with us at all times. And we must play a disruptive style of basketball. We are undersized, but we can press and run and be disruptive, which is a fun brand of basketball. Now you heard Coach Elsie right there. This roster a little undersized with Olivia Owens being the only true center on this team. Also not a super deep roster, but Kentucky does have one thing no other team in America does. That's Ryan Howard, who spent the offseason improving her game and also working on being a more vocal leader of this team. Um, with my teammates, like I just, like you said, it is open. So I tell them, I say, hey, like I need y'all to be willing to work hard, um, knock down the open shots because I'm a very unselfish player, so I'm going to find whoever's open. I'm going to find whoever's hot. I just need to count on them to, you know, knock the shots down or be willing to run through a brick wall for me as I would for them. Of course, we're expecting a huge senior season out of her, but she cannot do it all on her own, Eli. We saw her try to do that a few times last season. Did not always work out well for the Cats. So here's what Coach Elsie has seen step up so far. Ryan is obviously a talented basketball player, uh, the best in the country for so many reasons. Uh, but with that said, she has a supporting cast uh, that can help take her to the next level. Along with this program, uh, Jasmine Massingale has had a phenomenal summer. Uh, she has stepped up in the point guard position. She is leading on and off the court. Dre Edwards had a phenomenal summer. Uh, she's lost about 20 pounds. She is in the best shape of her life, playing with a lot of confidence. Uh, Blair Green, I am so proud of the progress that she has made. Uh, I always tease her. Uh, I always get her fingers moving because she's always calling for the ball. I was like, Blair, I promise we're going to get you a shot. But her, she is shooting the leather off the basketball. So I'm excited uh, about the possibilities of this team. Well, you heard Coach Elsie mimic Blair Green a little bit there, but what can you say? The Harlan County native, she's a senior, and she just wants to shoot. Yep. I asked some of her teammates today if more of Blair's shots are going to come from behind the arc or inside that three-point line. They were like, hey, she's going to shoot from anywhere. It'll be fine. Here's Green's <laughs> response to all of that. Like Elsie was saying, if I'm ready to shoot, then I'm just going to shoot. I don't care. If my, <laughs> I'm like this constantly. If my foot's on the line, I'm going to say, you know what, Coach, that's two points or that's three points. Like... I'm just ready to shoot. I'm like, coach, I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> so, yeah, we were teasing the other day because someone went and shooting the ball, and I was like, you know, I'm ready, coach. <laughs> and then we get the fingers going. So, that's funny. But, yeah, I mean, if I'm open and if I have a good shot, then I'm probably going to take it, and that's what they want me to do. So, get the fingers ready. Get them going. <laughs> get Blair Green the ball. I like it. Spirit fingers. That's what we can yes. start doing at games. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's do it. Let's get it started, guys. All right, moving on now to uh, Dre Edwards. Coming out hot last year seemed like a really dynamic option for the Wildcats, but then she struggled to maintain that role. Not always the most consistent. Said a lot of that time, well, that just happened because she just wasn't in shape enough to keep up, which sometimes led to this. Oh, most definitely. It was times where I was super tired and I was like, ah, I'm just going to foul. But it, it wasn't like, no, it, it was just like it happened. I don't know. When I get tired, I just be doing stuff. So I, it was a lot of times where I was tired and I was like, oh, OK, I'm just going to take this foul real quick. And then Elsie was over there mad at me, you know. And I keep progressing over the over the course of the summer and preseason workouts and stuff like that. Um, but even my trainer, she could see it a lot. Like it was times where I would get done with practice and I'm like, I was running that fast this whole practice, and she's like, yeah, like, you look really good. And I'm like, dang, like, I didn't realize, like, how, how bigger, faster, stronger that I really got, so. Team really uh, has struggled a, a little bit with consistency last season. Could be a special year if they can finally put all of that together. Mm -hmm. And some of that could come from freshman Jada Walker. That's right. Mm -hmm. She's impressing everyone early on, so keep an eye out for her. A lot of good things that the team said about her today. All right, coming up next, we got the voice of the Wildcats. That's right. Tom Leach <laughs> is joining us right after the break. We'll be right back.